Okay, so this is my new project. It's going to be my coffee bar. Not that. <laughs> this. So we bought this old coffee bar for five bucks off of like Facebook Marketplace. So Mike is taking off these here or nailed to here. So we need to sand this. We're going to paint it, clean it up. It does have drawers down here. Those are on the porch. But hey, for five bucks, that's pretty good, and it's going to work out to be a good coffee bar. So stay tuned. Mike taught me how to do that. Now, now I'm going to paint this. This here, I'm going to leave this color, um, but I'm going to just wipe it off later. But it has like the little hooks for the coffee cups. But this, let me see if you can see. This is the color I'm using. It's like a red, I don't know what the color. Let me look and see. This is just paint that we had left over from painting the house. Where's the color? It's a custom color. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Red. Well, it's some kind of red. Anyway, so, oh, Redemption Red. Okay. So, that is what the color looks like. So, I'm going to come over here. Mike's just going to show a little bit. I love these paint cans. They're like little plastic things, but they have a handle, and then you can just dip your brush in, and then you can rake it off in there but this was like 79 cent and this is probably going to take several coats so i'm just going to paint with this color and then we'll see how many coats it needs maybe two i'm not sure but painting is not this kind of painting is not my strong suit but this is just going to be a project for me to learn and then have a really good piece that I paid five dollars for because the paint was free because we already had it um oh and the brush um and this so the brush was like so five less than ten bucks for this coffee bar and then I may add some pieces to it um like a mat so that it doesn't get that um water stained again but I'm just gonna keep going with this and then I will bring you back once it is complete and then i will i'll show you how mike puts everything back together once everything's dry but i'll show you after the paint's done before we have the actual finished product all right so i'll see you soon thank you so i wanted to mention this is the hgtv home um, sherwin williams ovation the primer primer and paint in one so this is just old paint that we already had that we painted the house with a couple years ago so pretty much the paint was free
All right, so this is all the coats of the red, and then Mike's putting a coat of this polyurethane fast drying. I think it's men wax. Yeah. So um, the thing with this, I said this was under ten dollars. It's actually under twenty dollars because I forgot I did have to buy this polyurethane because we're trying to seal it so that it won't. Um, get that wood damage again so i would say i mean under 20 but let's say you know 20 dollar diy coffee bar so i've got the drawers painted and then i'm going to this i don't know how many how many coats did we put on that about four or five and this was like maybe three i'm going to replace these pools but just not right now and then on the inside this is coffee and like stains so i'm just going to clean that out really well um with some natural cleaner and then clean the um the iron part and then um we're going to put uh um some more coats just to seal this and then we'll be back um when it is all done Touch your mouth. So I just wanted to show you, see how the difference in that after you put that um, clear coat polyurethane on there? It just gets very shiny, very clean looking. So we've got this drying here, but I think this is going to be good. Um, that's the front of it, and then it's got some shelving there, and I think you can put like, I don't know if it's wine or yeah, coffee. Um, well, you can put wine or you can put coffee syrups there too would fit. And then up here, we're going to do some, uh, the mugs and then some coffee syrup. So just wanted to show you the difference in that wood. And you saw earlier, you saw these, how like dull they were looking. All right. So we'll see you soon. All right, and this is the after of the coffee bar. So these are the syrups I already had. I just lined them up on the top. Um, I didn't include these in the total, these pictures. There we go. Because you could leave those out. I paid um, 7 or $10 for those off of Facebook Marketplace. But you, you don't have to have those. I just loved them, and so I just put them in with the piece. But this... The bar itself cost $5. The paint we already had, I had to buy the clear coat, which was like $10. Um, the mat was like $1.40 something. Let's see, what else did I buy? I think, oh, and the little cups. I love that. And those were like, I want to say a dollar a piece. So under $20 for the coffee bar and those pieces and the clear coat so I just love the way this turned out um, we put it in front of the coffee curtain that I already had um, but it just goes to show you can do some things with things you find for you know really cheap that aren't quite um, perfect but you can paint them you can clear coat them so let me just give you a tour this is stuff I've already had these are my coffee accessories here that's my frappuccino maker and then I put some coffee in here I cleaned these out really well but I love how this paint turned out coffee filters and this coffee pot right here I have had for I don't know a year I got it at Goodwill we cleaned it up really well we run some vinegar through it just washed it really well it is used but you can do K cups in this or you can do regular coffee. That's just uh, stained. Um, and then you put your water in here. But it is a really nice little coffee station. So I decided to put this in my coffee bar. And like I said, these are pieces that I've had before. This is my little milk frother. But these I loved. The little things. But, you know, if you include those in, you know, it'll be... A 30 buck project but I'm not going to include those because you don't have to have that um, I just got those after the fact these are cups that I already had got those at Goodwill these Starbucks cups got those for I don't even know they were really cheap little salt and pepper shakers I already had this I got at Dollar General this has my let me see if I can open it this has my little 
sweeteners in it. So I'm just, whoa. I'm knocking everything down. Hold on. Oh no. There we go. So I'm just, <laughs> this is, oh, I'm not good at this. Hey, not bad for my first DIY project. But anyway, these are the other pictures that came with it. And I already had these that I use all the time. But here we go. This is my first DIY. And this is the DIY coffee bar. And I wanted to give a shout out to Budget Fam. Carrie, she inspired me to do this. She did a coffee bar. I will post her uh, the link to her video below. But she inspired me to do this, and I saw that for five bucks, and I said, I've got to get it. So here you go. Check Carrie out, and check out this DIY. I'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.